Joe Burrow out there. What's up, baby? Had to get tan, boy. Hey, you're looking nice. Got to get ready for Houston. Ooh, you smell nice, too. It's that lotion, bro. All right, boys. So I had to hit the tanning bed real quick, getting all prepped for Houston, which I'm beyond hyped for, bro. It's, I'm pretty excited about every single collab that I've ever done. Like, I don't, I wouldn't collab with someone like I wasn't actually hyped to collab with. But this one might take the cake, all right? This one might take the cake. But aside from that, boys, uh, I didn't want to leave you this week without a video, you know? Um, so I thought it'd been a while since I'd done a Q&A, so we're just gonna run a Q&A today. If you have a question that you want to ask me on future Q&As, I always ask on Instagram. So if you're not following my Instagram and you want to hit me with a Q&A question, uh, you might want to go slide me a follow, boys. But before we get into that, we're gonna go hit a little bit of legs real quick with Pete. Um, I've been running a little bit behind today because we just have a bunch of shit that we have to do before we go to Houston, so it's been a little scrambled. But hey, we're here, we're gonna go hit legs and then we'll get into the Q&A. heavy and shit the strength program's coming to an end for me come march you're one foot in one foot out i'm a one foot in one foot out the door man you know what i'm yes. saying okay i love you pd's new girlfriend mm -hmm. who's that mama uh oh that's mama what's up bro what's up dude how you doing hey, man, man. Man. no 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 i got i got a squat no token before i'm gonna smoke it i'll take a little <laughs> <laughs> west of tacoma like across the water. It's kind of hood. I mean, yeah, it's Bremerton? Bre Bremerton? Oh, Bremerton. Is that B-Town? Huh? Pack a new one. Yeah, it's yeah, B-Town. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, is Bremerton. Shit, Bremerton is a shithole. It is, bro. No, I'm not going to smoke, dude. I got to squat. I got to have a good... Okay. We can smoke after. Okay. We'll we can smoke after. We can smoke after. No, I got to... I'm going to film a Q&A after this. <laughs> <laughs>
got done with football practice. Rocking the Letterman's jacket. All right, no, but for real, these are gonna be dropping February 17th, Young LA. This is the only item that's dropping that day. There's gonna be a few more items restocking, but this is like a one-time drop. I'm pretty sure there's only a thousand of these being made um, for the drop, if I'm not mistaken. So definitely make sure you're early, 12 p.m. PST, if you wanna snag one of these. Code Big Dog, rep your colors, baby. Young LA, varsity, baby, all state. I'm not actually gonna wear this thing for the Q&A because it's hot as fuck in here. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, it's been a while since I've done a Q&A and I'm gonna be really busy the next like two weeks. Well, until March starts. I have a lot of stuff that I need to get done uh, before March hits because that's when I got some other stuff going on. But I'm going to Houston later on this week to link up with Marco and Jay Biz and then like Two days after I get home from Houston, I'm flying out to LA for another little surprise. You guys are gonna be hyped on that one. I'm super stoked to let you guys know what I got going on in LA. But um, the point I'm trying to get at is I didn't wanna leave you guys hanging without putting out a video for a while. So I'm gonna bang out a Q&A here and then just bear with me for the next couple of weeks leading up to March. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to deliver videos whenever I can. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know that I edit all my own videos. So I'm gonna go get the content, I'm gonna edit it. Uh, just bear with me if it's different times. I'm sorry. It is what it is I'm gonna post as soon as I can but it should be straight heat especially the Houston trip long overdue, bro long overdue All right, well, let's get this Q&A started. Let me just take a little one I know that I was on a break from smoking weed, but <clears throat> I'm gonna be linking up with J Biz in Houston, so I was like, okay, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just put that back a little bit. I'm back on it. I'm back on it. <clears throat> all right, we're gonna do this real chill. I'm just gonna go through all the questions you guys asked me. Like I said earlier, if you want to get a chance at being in one of these Q and A's, I always do them through my Instagram. So definitely slide me a follow if you're not, but if not, it's all love. All right, we're gonna start off simple. Zig Nako asked, "What made you start working out?" Uh, I don't know if I've talked about this in a past video, but pretty much how I got like serious about the gym, serious, uh, was when I got into the military after boot camp, after like, um, like, uh, what's, what do you go to after boot camp? What's that shit called? MCT. MCT. It's like infantry training battalion, some bullshit like that. So after all that, I... I was used to having like a physical outlet, um, growing up because I played a lot of sports. I wrestled. Uh, I played football and I, uh, I was in the gym a lot too, but it wasn't as serious as now. Like I wasn't training to be a bodybuilder or a powerlifter. I was just kind of training to be better at football in the past. So after I got through all the busy times during the Marine Corps and I kind of hit the fleet, I had a lot of downtime on my hands and uh, I was used to like being physically fit and I wanted to get huge. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna start working out. And that's how I got into lifting, you know, like I, I got the itch after that. Uh, that was the first time like I had been training like a bodybuilder and like being consistent in the gym. And dude, I just, I just fell in love with it. I love the grind. Um, the Marine Corps was a great way to hit the gym frequently. Uh, for anyone who's in the Marine Corps, I'm sure you could attest to that or any military service, but that's pretty much the basic idea. <laughs> like I caught the itch uh, when I was in the Marine Corps, trained my ass off for five years. Loved every second of it. Don't really plan on quitting anytime soon. All right, Kyle Caulfield, Caulfield, I think that's how it said. Uh, what has been most beneficial to getting your back better? Um, if you've been following the channel a little bit, you know that I was dealing with a little nagging back injury uh, the last year, but it's been a lot better recently. So the main thing that I've done to try and improve like the health of my back is one, obviously I've been way more serious about stretching and mobility. I've always been pretty good about that, but now I just like, I make it a point to make sure I'm stretching a little bit every single day. Even if it's only like 20 minutes, it goes a long way. I'm sure some of you younger cats that are lifting, bro, like, bro, I never stretched when I was 20, 21, 22, but I'm telling you, the longer you lift and the more muscle mass you put on and the older you get, you're gonna have to warm up properly. You're gonna have to lift. So. My advice to you is just start doing it earlier and build a good habit. Um, so yeah, a lot of stretching. I bought an inversion table. If you don't know what that is, it's like you just hang upside down. A lot of chiropractors recommend it. That helped my back a lot. Um, and the sauna, like I hit the sauna slash steam room every single day and that has been tremendous. 
Um, and then I think lastly, I could just put in just making sure that I'm trying to be as precise as possible with my forms, no matter what kind of lift it is, whether it's a deadlift or a squat. I'm very nitpicky about my form right now, trying to get it perfect to avoid injury. Cause I mean, obviously if you're squatting incorrectly, it's very easy to have like a lot of weight on your back or deadlifting incorrectly. It's just like, it's very technical. So I strive to just do all my lifts as like cleanly and correctly as possible. Um, those are like the four main things I guess I've done to make my back get better. All right, Dak Will Works asks, this is like the most common question I get whenever I do these, sativa or indica? If I had to choose just one, I would probably go with indica. I just like the feel of indica strains a little bit better. But honestly, like I'm not picky. I love hybrids, I love sativa, um, anything goes. All right, Joseph 2K says, how did it feel transitioning from military to civilian life? So I feel like I have a decent amount of like military members that follow me. So I'll give my two cents on this topic. I feel like I've talked about it before, but like everyone's gonna tell you in the military, bro, if you're getting out, you need to have a plan. I think that that's very true. Cause it was definitely, I don't wanna say it was, I will say like it was tough getting out of the, the military after five years, honestly, not like so tough, like it was weighing me down or whatever, but it was, it's a challenge and if you're not prepared for it, I think it just becomes more of a challenge, but you shouldn't you shouldn't be like scared to get out if you're like on the fence about it and you almost don't want to get out cuz you're scared to get out. It's so hard. It's it, bro, it's it's so chill out here. It's the easiest thing ever in my opinion. All right, Mike Tev asks, "What is my most memorable PR?" For me personally, I would just say 405 on bench because growing up, my bench was always like my weakest lift for the longest time. I had a higher uh, like a better squat a better deadlift and then i just didn't have a lot of strength up top for the longest time so um when i did finally start gaining strength on bench and i hit 405 bro i was like bro i was i was stoked about that one i'm not really a number chaser like i don't really care about putting up massive numbers but that one felt good that one felt good for sure all right dalton pine green ask what are your thoughts on shrooms i'm assuming he's talking about psilocybin mushrooms um Okay, we gotta do this thing. We gotta stop fucking around. The mic's not even on. <laughs> it's not even plugged into the right place. Is it not? No, <laughs> damn it, Dallas. I don't know if I did that. It wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> it was definitely you. You love me and I love you. Your heart hurts, mine does too. And it's just words, they cut deep. But it's our words, just us two. I see fuck you, I hate you. follow my snapchat you know that like i'm i'm pro shrooms like i i enjoy partaking in shrooms from time to time not frequently but like um a few times a year like i think taking mushrooms have been honestly highly beneficial to me uh, i obviously am not telling you to go out and take fucking mushrooms like if you want to experiment with them that's totally on you and you need to do your own research but i personally like have enjoyed the experiences that i've had with mushrooms um, I always make sure that I weigh out my shit though, like precisely, because I never want to take too much because that's how you have a bad fucking time, all right? I feel like if you're responsible and you take a reasonable amount, it's very hard to have a bad time um, on shrooms. That's just my experience. All right, Leech Luke 53 asks, tell us a story how you got Ruby. Honestly, I'll tell you the story straight up. I didn't want a dog when I got a dog. Cat was bugging me and bugging me for like a week, bro. Like, yo, can we please get a dog? Please, please, can we get a dog? Please. Bro, she was relentless. And like, I just didn't want a dog because I am I travel a lot and I was busy at the time. Um, but uh, she showed me Ruby on like Craigslist and I was like, damn, that's a really good looking dog actually. So then I made the mistake of actually going and looking at her and after I like met Ruby, I was like, damn, I really want that dog because she's just the cutest. Ruby. Say hi, Ruby. She's tired right now.
Chris Lonzo 29 asks me, I like this question actually, what made you want to be a influencer? I, I feel like I never was like, damn, I want to be an influencer. Like I want to like, uh, like I want to post on Instagram. I want to do the YouTube thing. Like I never honestly felt like I wanted to do that. To me, the biggest motivator to starting this channel and like becoming, if you want to call it influencer, because I don't like to consider myself an influencer, bro. Like I'm just a dude that likes to lift and makes videos and you guys rock with it. So it is what it is, but like, don't get it twisted. I'm not an influencer. But the biggest motivator for me, honestly, starting it was, bro, it wasn't, it wasn't like my love for wanting to be an influencer. It was my extreme um, hate towards the fucking normal grind, bro. Like, go get a nine to five, go to school. Um, like, bro, that, that, uh, I, that was just not it for me. Um, I tried to do that for a couple years after I got out of the Marine Corps and I was like, I was miserable. I was miserable. I hated it so much. So like I was someone who loved working out. Like I loved it so much. And I saw these other people making a career out of it on, you know, social media. And I was like, damn, that would be like the most ideal situation for me because I love training. I didn't want to have a typical job. I was miserable doing that shit. Um, so when I got the opportunity to start making content, uh, I did so and I was just like all right well let's see what happens like it wasn't me wanting to be an influencer it was me trying to get out of the grind bro like the nine to five like that's not it for me um, and for anyone out there that feels the same way about the nine to five like and you want to get out like I'm just here to tell you it's possible you just have to do the work you know you can't just think about it you have to do it eventually and take action on it all right we'll do a few more we gotta find some juicy ones though okay this one's funny Matthew Arvissa asked me gay son or thought daughter i would go i would go for the gay son like because why wouldn't i i don't care like i don't care if my son's gay or straight you feel me but a thought daughter i'd be a little disappointed i'd be like damn i thought i raised you with morals and self-respect just kidding but yeah definitely gay son oh i just cracked my back bro all right jonathan cazares asked who's someone would, that you would want to collab with for a video and why? Who do I want to collab with? I'd like to be in a City Morb music video. So if I'm, that's one collab I'd like to see happen. No, but honestly, like, I don't know. I, I literally would collab with anyone. If they're like, yo, let's make a video. I'm, I'm game. I can make a video about anything, bro. Mardon Azing asks me, what keeps you driven like with life struggles and BS everywhere? Man, like honestly, my mindset is life's too short to like be pressed about the stupid bullshit. You feel me? So like everyone deals with bullshit. We all go through times, but I think it's just important to realize that like our time here is limited um, no matter which way you swing it. So like I like to just try my best to focus on the good and do what I love and just be appreciative of the time that I have. So, so definitely just count your blessings if you're struggling. Like I struggled. We've all struggled in the past, you know? Um, and just, just focus on what makes you happy. And I feel like if you focus on what makes you happy and you work hard, um, everything has a way of working yourself out. All right, Joel Martinez asked, any tips on getting sponsored to Young LA or any other like similar companies? So this is a pretty normal question that I get, uh, or just like how, do you, like, how do I get sponsored? Like, how do I get a sponsorship? And I'll say it, and like anyone else will say the same thing, bro. If you want to get sponsorships, you got to focus on making content and growing your socials and like growing a following. Cause if you have a following, companies are going to find you. Like you're not even going to have to be like reaching out to them, blah, blah, blah. Especially in today's age, if you have like a legit following, it's it, the companies will find you in my opinion. You could always reach out to them too. Maybe they'll hit you back, but um, focus on growing your following, making a cult, making community, um, putting out good content and the sponsorships will come. How did Kat feel when you worked out with Emily? Kat didn't give a fuck. I was like, oh, yo, I'm gonna go work out with this chicken. She's like, okay, cool. What do you mean? All right, my boy asked, heartbreaks. Like, how to deal with heartbreaks. Bro, honestly, my thought process on that is like, it is what it is. Like, if, if you get your heart broken, like, everyone's been down bad for a chick before, I suppose, but like, just bro, pick yourself up, move on to the next one. Like, it's really not that big of a deal at the end of the day, you know? Shit comes and goes all the time. I don't, like, 
I don't like getting too overly attached to anything because anything can happen all the time. Anything is possible, anything can change. So that's always been my mindset. Um, just use it as fuel, bro. Go better yourself, you know, get a, get a hotter chick. Like that, that would be my mindset at least. Is men having earrings alpha? Well, I think dudes with earrings are cool. I, I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna go out and pierce my ears, but I don't have anything against it. I used to have my nose pierced for a while, but then I took it out and it closed up. I kinda wanna do it again. But yeah, I fuck with piercings. Piercings are cool. I don't think it makes you alpha. It just means that you like wearing fucking jewelry. <laughs> All right, this is the last one. Who got you into Suicide Boys? So honestly, like I listened, I listened to Suicide Boys for a long time. I listened to Suicide Boys when I was in the Marine Corps, but like I wasn't like a huge fan of them. Um, honestly, Kat put me on to Suicide Boys even more. She showed me all their like actual really dope music. Um, so she she helped me out in that aspect. I gotta give credit to Kat. She put me on to Suicide Boys hard. Now I was always in a little peep in City Morgo. I found those guys by myself. R.I.P. Little Peep, the goat. Gorilla Mode and uh, Gorilla Nitric are gonna be on sale for the next 48 hours on Gorilla Mind's website. They're doing this sale for the Year of the Tiger, so uh, the Nitric Tiger's Blood is gonna be on sale for the next 48 hours along with Gorilla Mode if you need to pick up some new products. Now's a good time, Code Big Dog. And the Letterman's Jackets are gonna be dropping on the 17th of February. There's only a limited amount made, they're limited edition, so 12 p.m. PST, Code Big Dog if you guys want some swag. And I think that's going to wrap up the video, boys, okay? I'm excited to see you guys again. Got a lot of exciting stuff coming on. I'm about to put in some work on the camera. And I'll see you guys next time. P-Way the only way.